Uh, before we look at yours, uh, I want to show you a couple of uh, reference points from uh, two other uh, players. Um, first one, kind of more old school player now, uh, not old school, old school, but uh, Tommy Robredo. So a couple of key uh, factors here that we're going to look at. Uh, the baseline is somewhere kind of in this alignment right here. Um, I want you to check out his, his back and his dominant shoulder. How he's rotated to the point where his chest is kind of like facing towards the back mm -hmm. corner over here. Um, that's pretty much universal across world-class one-handed backhand players. Uh, is some kind of rotation beyond perpendicular. Uh, to the baseline. Uh, that's just a function of only using the dominant uh, arm and not, not using the back arm also to kind of power and drive through. Mm -hmm. Two-handed back end tends to not be quite as much rotation. Uh, One-hander is definitely a little extra um, turn. Uh, the other part of it I want you to watch is kind of similar to your forehand. I'd like you to watch the tip of his racket and we're gonna kind of trace a circle. So here just kind of watch. And so real similar to kind of what we were looking at with the, the forehand, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a big difference between the bottom most part of the stroke. Again, kind of like six, eight inches, like somewhere in there, diff height, height difference between the bottom and contact, mm -hmm. but then a big upward mm -hmm. uh, extension of the, of the racket. And so there's a, there's a big vertical uh, height difference mm -hmm. between the bottom and the top. So uh, here's uh, Stan. Mm -hmm. He's more aggressive with how he uses his body. Uh, he opens much more aggressively. Uh, but here I wanted you to see, uh, here, here you can see the baseline right in the corner there. Mm -hmm. You can see his back uh, facing, again, about 45 degrees or so uh, towards the, the net. And his chest uh, pointing towards the, the corner back there. So Stan opens his body a ton, and look, look at the tip of the tip of the racket. It unwinds like r really, really aggressively, and that's part of the reason why he's able to hit the ball just a ton. With the one-hander, is that really aggressive uh, racket head could call it snap or release or whatever, led by a really powerful hip and shoulder unwind towards his target. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of viewers. So your, um, your initial setup is pretty much right at perpendicular uh, most of the time. And that's the first thing that we're going to address. Um, this amount of rotation with your core <clears throat> leaves a lot of the responsibility to your arm to do the hitting of the ball because mm -hmm. there's just not a lot of range of motion leading up to the point of contact to really make the, the core bear the brunt of accelerating the the racket forward. So if you watch um, where your chest is facing from this position, your, your setup position, to contact, there is rotation, but it's pretty minimal. There's not a lot of turn. Yeah. And this is pretty similar chest position to what uh, Robredo or Vavrenka would be, but they be began from an extra 45 degrees turned uh, back. And so there's just much more strength leading them into the, into the point of contact. Now, the other part, the other main substantial difference is very similar to what your forehand was. Mm -hmm. uh, we see here, if we do what we did before, and here's the, the bottom most part of your swing right there. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm actually going to cut it off a little bit prematurely because for me, this is your swing path. And mm -hmm. kind of similar, not as obvious as your forehand, but similar uh, to your forehand. There's like a lift and then at the, at the end you're like, see, like this is where I'm, I'm supposed to follow through. So for me, these two lines are like the actual hit. Like the, this mm -hmm. is like the actual swing path. And then at the end you have like additional... Like that's a great word, yes. Additional flourish uh, at the end. Okay, so let's work through this. Okay. All right, uh, middle of the service line, please. Okay, so uh, let's start off. You're, you're going to mirror me. 
uh, going to start off fi by finding that, that strong turned position. So I'd like you to uh, get parallel with my shoulders, plane of my shoulders here. Yep. And we're going to raise you up to, to here. Yep. And so uh, from this position, go ahead and imagine like the ball coming over on, on this side. Mm -hmm. And you're going to basically kind of feel like your chin is coming up against your, your right shoulder close to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to see you a couple of times go from ready position to, to that position. Good. Keep going. Good, it's looking better. So here's where you're at right now. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. All right, and now let's uh, trace through together um, forward swing. Uh, so from here, I, I would like to see you uh, step, and then we're going to practice uh, dropping, turning the contact. And then just like on your forehand, what we're going to practice here, actually just staying in this position, is uh, tracing the tip of your racket up and, and around. And for right now, we're, this is going to be our finished position. Um, this would absolutely not be incorrect. Mm -hmm. um, it really just kind of depends on how much racket head speed you're, mm -hmm. you're bringing through the point of contact. Uh, the more aggressively you're unwinding and releasing, mm -hmm. uh, the more towards, towards this position you're, you're going to get. Uh, but for most shots, this is perfectly fine for right now. So um, go ahead and go to that uh, kind of step in position with your right foot. Yep, yep. And now I'd, I'd love to see you practice this. Uh huh. And let's, let's for right now, let's finish with it. Yeah, pointing upwards. Okay, so turn. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Good. And your goal is to make this um, arc be steady and consistent all the way through. Okay. Yes, great, great, great. Nice job. Sharon, check this out. I'm, re I'm really happy with this, uh, this last one that she did. So initial turn, slightly exaggerated. Racket dropped, rotate up to contact, and then continue. Mm -hmm. See it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that smoothness that you so badly want mm -hmm. is as a result is is the result rather of this continual gradual release of the, the racket head. Alright, let's do three more at that same speed. After the third one, I'm going to drop you a ball. And just like the forehand, your only concern, one more, is to execute exactly the same as on the shadow swing. Good, good. Nice job. Two shadow swings. <clears throat> same execution, same mechanics. Good job. All right, let's take a look at the last one. Great. Mm -hmm. Shoulders towards the back, uh, back corner. That's pretty much exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. It's a really good job, man. Really, really good job. So here now is the bottom of your motion. Now watch the, the tip of the racket. So ideally what we'll see is a, a smooth circular. So horizontal at contact and then release. There it is. There you go. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let's go on back to No Man's Land. Can you please uh, feed now, Kevin? You want this one? I got it. I don't want you to use any more effort or acceleration than, than what you were just doing. Okay. Um, just focus on your body uh, turning initially back and then the whole, obviously the whole point then is to unwind uh, forward into the point of contact. If you do that and the tip of your racket uh, releases, then you have a great one-handed back end. <laughs> Good in. A little bit weak, a little bit weak on the last one. You're like just past 90 degrees. Yep, there you go. Yep. That's better, that's better. Good, just so you're aware of what you're doing. Here's your last shadow swing. Like that's, that's strong. That's in a good spot. Okay. And then here's the, the hit. That's, that's really nice. Yeah, I got my head turned. Yeah, it looks good. And so look, look at how you're unwinding into the point of contact mm -hmm. and then through. Mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly what we're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Pretty good job with the extension too, that was good. Nice. Really nice, Dan. Good. Okay. Statue of Liberty. Yep. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah. Really good. Initial turns, past 90, not, not your strongest, but, but definitely improvement. Definitely give you a pass there too. That was strong, especially for how far you had to move. But stuff like this, like this is gonna be a little while before you're comfortable with the ball up here. Yeah. Nice, good, like strong uh, position there, but. And okay. there's. Got a little bit more lateral. lateral. Yeah. Uh -huh which honestly is, is more the path that we want on a ball up there. Yeah. Uh, there's not gonna be as exaggerated of a lift because you're already most of the way up there. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's just not as big of a differential between uh, contact and the height, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a tough, it's a tough spot. Good turn. Not bad though, not bad, yeah. not bad. Nice job, dude, that's, that's a strong, that's a strong initial turn. Looks like a higher ball again, yep. Nice job on that, I mean, that's, that's a tough shot. Thank you. Yeah, and I went straight up. Our that's, happy. dude, this is my See, favorite. This is, this is why I <laughs> look on your face. <laughs> like, the <laughs> moment, that's, that's the moment. Maybe we could bottle that yeah. and like, just take a, take a sip once yeah, in a while. Yeah, transcendence. <laughs> This I think is my honestly my favorite ref of yours all day, because this is like a this is a tough shot, uh, but you hit both objectives on this shot. I don't know where the ball went, but that was that was awesome. So, really quick, proof is oh, whoops I'm down in the john. Proof, in the proof is in the pudding. They say. I feel like it should be required by tennis pros to show the before and after for yeah. every lesson. Yeah. So, very mm -hmm. lateral, straight. Yeah. And 
this is the, like the strongest that. the strongest position you got to. Mm -hmm. Right at right at perpendicular. Mm -hmm. And straight hit. It looks it looks jarring and kind of abrupt. There's mm -hmm. not as much room to Yeah. Yeah. And this has like the, the finish, but but look at the uh, alignment of the racket, how long it stays lateral. Mm -hmm. So there isn't actually active lift. Yeah, there is like or some like sh like shoulder lift, but there isn't rotational uh, lift oh, yeah. of the racket. That part, yeah, I forgot about that rotational part. Yeah, we've talked about it a lot today. So just. Much weaker setup and much more lateral mm -hmm. forward kind of push of the ball. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Thank you.